Hello and welcome back to another video today here again with some more Need for Speed Unbound information. Now I'm a little bit late to the party this week, um, but still we have this trailer that you see showing um, released today. The Need for Speed Unbound Palace Edition trailer, which is essentially their version of the Ultimate Edition, which is a collaboration between Need for Speed and Palace, who are a skateboard and fashion brand based in London. And basically this is going to give you access to the cars you see in this trailer, as well as early access to the game, as is often the way with these Ultimate Editions. So I'll let the rest of this trailer play for you guys, and then we'll head over to the Need for Speed website to take a look at a bit more information they've released alongside this. So, if we head across to the website, we get some more information about the Palace Edition. We get a load of stuff here talking about Need for Speed partnering with real-world brands, etc, etc, and talking about the London-based skate and streetwear brand joining um, the game, basically. Um, it gives you a few other things, including driving effects, obviously the clothes, um, decals, a California license plate, um, because Palace in California for some reason, even though it's a London-based company apparently, and that's you know, lots of clothes and stuff, but the important thing that you guys are probably interested in are these four cars, which we caught a glimpse of in the trailer, but if you weren't quite sure what they were, the Mercedes AMG GT Black Series, which I believe is only in Gran Turismo, Forza please add that car, so that's very good to see, I'll very much enjoy driving that one. Golf GTI was in the previous game, as was the M3 and the G-Wagon. But still, a cool little selection of cars for this Ultimate Edition, effectively. And then it talks about matching drip for your custom cars, which I presume means matching clothes? It, it's all in weird language. Anyway, it, it's talking about clothes to go with the cars in this edition, and then it tells you here what is included in these clothes. So a pair of Palace Edition vans, basically. So shoes, two caps and a beanie, we get some hats, we get some jackets, we get some other stuff, and some jogging bottoms. But really what we're interested in is the cars and the early access, of course. And this edition is $79.99, that is in dollars, but I think it's roughly 10% extra on the standard edition, which is pretty normal, I think. But yeah, it's not cheap. I do think, though, it probably is worth it to play it a little bit early and to get these cars, although I'm not sure if these are just Palace editions and we'll get the normal versions of them anyway, but yeah, cool little selection of cars. If we take a quick look at the Steam advertisement for Need for Speed Unbound, you can see the differences of what you get with the Standard Edition against the Palace Edition. So these are all pretty much the same. You get bonuses and stuff like that. Um, but with the Palace Edition, you also get four custom cars, which I think sounds like, to me, the standard versions are in the game anyway. So yeah, gassy driving effects. So some kind of gas themed tire smoke or something like that and presumably a few other things mashman decals and license plate whatever that means exclusive character pose and banner and special clothing pack so there's not really much to make you want to have that version other than if you pre-order the palace edition you get the game three days early which is quite a big thing these days being able to play early that probably is the most useful part of this, but you do get some more cars, which is always nice. So not loads of information today, just news of this collaboration with Palace, and of course confirming that we're going to be able to have a Palace edition, they're calling it this time, giving us three days early access and some other bits, as you expect from most games. Although they have kind of previewed what we're going to get next week in a drop, but it doesn't really tell you much other than it's called Run These Streets and there's a guy jumping on a car. For this very short video though, taking a look at the latest Need for Speed Unbound information drop, that is probably going to be all. Um, 
it's not really as exciting as before, but it is good to know that we can buy an Ultimate Edition that gives us early access. Although I have to say the content in it isn't all that exciting to me, but I probably will go for it so I can play it three days early anyway. Um, do let me know what you think. Do you think it's worth going for the Palace Edition? Or are you going to go for the Standard Edition? Or are you not going to buy Need for Speed Unbound at all? Um, but yeah, for today's information drop, or yesterday's I think it probably is by the time this video goes out, that is going to be all. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back with the next video very soon.